Although al-Bashir is overshadowing the AU summit, there are other vital issues the leaders are discussing, and the one of them is the creation of the free trade zone for the entire continent. CCTV's Angela Coppola talked to the AU's Commissioner of Trade and Industry about the deal. The CFA decision was taken by the AU heads of state in 2012 and penciled in for 2017 as an indicative date to officially launch the initiative. As a commissioner of trade and industry, I do not have that luxury of talking about an indicative date. As a commission, my role is to take 2017 as the date and making sure that, you know, with my team coming up with the roadmap that will fit and come up with something very clear after 2017. For a free trade area to find traction, it's important that participants are offered some form of protection, which will mean agreements with other groupings. Or will it? The world is becoming very complex right now. I think that the protection is, is becoming very, very, very difficult. You know, this infant industry that we talk about and all these things, this is a hard discussion at the, uh, at the WTO. But I think that we have to find a mean. And I think that the way around it is really this value chain approach. It seems like the continental free trade area is a fait accompli. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out, though. 2017 has been set as the date. There are a lot of devil in the detail that still have to be resolved, though. For CCTV in Johannesburg at the AU Summit, I'm Angelo Coppola.